Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project online shopping system. And I have developed this project in Java Spring Boot, React, and MySQL. So the Spring Boot version I'm using, Spring Boot version 2.1.6 release. And uh, MySQL version is 5.6. And for port, I'm using port 3000 for running the React application and uh, port 8080 for running the microservices which we have developed in Spring Boot. Right. So for server, I'm using the Tomcat server. Uh, and uh, for ID, I have used Visual Studio Code for developing the React application and STS Spring Boot Tool Suits version 4 for developing the API part, which we have written in the Spring Boot, right? So this is a bootstrap theme, right? Also, we have used many of the CSS3 libraries and the React.js libraries for giving some good effects inside the project. Right. So these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project online shopping system. So let's start with the functionality, go through that, what are the features available inside this project and what models we have developed in it, right? So uh, once you run this project on port 3000 on local hours, then you will get this home page. The first of all, I want to say this is a mini project which has only and only customer operations. There is no admin login in this because in mini project, we are providing only the customer operations but if you need the major project with admin operation then we will develop it also you will get it on my website that is a free project.com right that is the major project right so it has only and only customer operation there is no admin operations right so the basic features in this projects are that customer can see the category customer can source the product customer can add the product into the cart customer can make the payment and customer can see the order history right so this is the home page and you can see this is a static content and this is a dynamic category right there are six categories available inside the project so we have uh, all of the six categories are available here right if you want to click any on the category just click on that category and you will be able to see all of the products which belongs to that category right so these all datas are coming from the api I, from database right so this is a home page this all categories are coming from the api this is a about page and this is a static page and there is nothing dynamic on it right so we have uh, not used uh, any type of api on this page this is a category again and if this is a dynamic page and all of the categories are coming from the api right and those api we have developed in uh, spring boot right so if you want to search any of the api just click on that and just enter the name and click on search then you will be able to search that api and those api will be displayed here sorry those uh, category will be displayed here right if you click on that category then you will be able to see the details this is all products all of the products which is available inside the database will be displayed here right this is a category and this is all products so you can see these are the eight products which we have added inside the database right and if you want to change the project product titles then you can change that from the database as i told you earlier this there is no admin part of that this project right so you can see there is a product one product two, two three four if you want to change the product category or product name then you can change that from the database right so here you can see there are two options q q p u and add to card is coming if you click on this then you will be able to see the details of that product right if even if you want to search any product right, uh, then you can search from here right so just click view and this is the product right and this is the details and details of the product and it says scroll bar you can see here right product cost is 90 and this is a symbol this is a configurable right you can change the symbol category that is fashion and i want to add to cart right so if i click on add to cart so there's a restrictions inside the project that you can't add item into the cart without login so login is mandatory for buying any of the items so i am uh, logging with amit gmail.com this is my user id and the password is test right if i submit it then i have redacted to the dashboard but i am going to shop some of the product so quick view now add to cart you can see one item has been added into the cart now i want to shop more so this one the this one quick view and this one i need this item three items 
So there are three items I have added. Now continue shopping and this one quick view and have to cut one item. Suppose if you want to delete any item, just click on the delete and that item will be after confirmation, right? That item will be deleted from your cart, right? If you want to add more items again, just go on that. And then after that, you can click on the view, quick view and add to cart. So total amount you need to pay is 420, right? Once you click on the checkout, right, it will ask your card details. This is a dummy payment. There is no real payment gateway. We have indicated this is a dummy payment only. So you will enter the card number and the name of the card, right? Select this one, the expiry date, anything you want, you can select. And once you click on the submit, you will get this. Okay, your order number 386 has been generated, right? And these are, these are your details, right? If you want to print the thing, just click on the print receipt and this page will be printed from the connected printer. If you want to see it in order history, just go on the My Administration and the My Orders, right? This is a 386 order number, which amount was 420 and it's appeared. And once you click on that, you will be able to see the details of that order, right? This is a dashboard of the user right here. You can see the dashboard, right? So this is all products. Again, I already explained you. So this is all products, right? So from where you will be able to see all of the products. This is a my card currently it's empty because you have not added any item to the card right but if you go on the my products and pick view and add item then in the my card section you will be able to see one item set to the card right and this is my orders right this is a my order section from where you will be able to see all of the orders next one is a submit feedback you can submit the feedback over the website but this will be saved inside the database because there is no admin panel, so you will not be able to see the feedback. This is a my account section from where you will be able to update your account details, right? Once you click, so it will ask your confirm password and submit. So you can see account has been updated successfully, right? The same dashboard menu is available here in the my administration section also, right? This is a session driven menu. And if you click on the logout, this session will be destroyed and this menu will not be displayed. Let me show you, it will be changed. So you can see the menu has been changed. But if you log in, it will show you to the My Administration option. Suppose I am entering the correct incorrect details like this one. So you're seeing that invalid credentials. So now I am entering you can see this is a menu but if you click on that then it's showing the different menu because it has changed if you click on the logo then all of the session will be destroyed so you can see the session has been destroyed and the menu has been changed right so these all features i have developed inside this great online shopping system as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in spring boot react and mysql but if you need any enhancement any extra feature in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes. We will make this project more better and better according to our requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.